Okay, so for this one, it says a thousand par value, 30 year bond has an AO coupon at 7% to my only. And after an additional 10 year period of call protection, the bond is called immediately following the payment of any of the 20th to 59th group. So they give us these scenarios and we want to ensure that the bond will provide at least an annual nominal yield rate of 5% convertible to my if it must, must be assumed that the bond will play alter with you. Okay, well, whenever we ever see this, like, uh, we want to ensure that the bond will provide at least an annual nominal rate. Um, that means that we want to, after every scenario of computing a bond pricing formula, we always want to choose the one that produces the lowest price. That's pretty much it. Because if you pay more, then the uh, yield rate will be higher. So we have to choose the, um, the cheapest uh, price to pay for the bond when we do the price bond price so now let's go on to so there's a thousand par value right and they're saying that a coupon payment a coupon rate is being paid semi-annually right so now well let's start off with what is seven divided by two it would be uh so this would be 0 0.035 and then we so 0 0.035 times a thousand. So it's going to be 35 coupon payments, $35 as coupon payments, right? Now, they're saying for the first part, it says if the bond is called before payment of 40th coupon, the redemption is uh, $12.50. Okay, well, they're giving us a redemption value, right? So that would mean that we want to first determine whether this, uh, bond being called is either discount or premium and how do we do that well we conventionally we conventionally um compute um compare the coupon rate to the yield rate if the coupon rate is greater than the yield rate it's uh the bond is being sold at a premium if the coupon rate is less than the uh yield rate then the bond is being sold at discount and if uh both are equal then the bond is being sold at par. So now we want to find out if this bond is being called at a redemption of 1250, we want to find out what this new coupon rate is. So we found the coupon rate of 35, right? Well, we found the coupon payment of 35. So we have to do uh, 35 over 1250 to find out the percentage of coupon rate. So now we're going to do 35 divided by 1250. And we're going to get point the uh, 0 to 8, which is practically 2.8%, right? Now, let's compare this to the yield rate. It says here that the yield rate is 5% convertible semi-annually. What is that? Well, 5 divided by 2, that is 2.5% as the yield rate, right? So now, um, we see that the coupon rate is greater than 2.5%, which means that this uh, uh, bond that's being called at 1250 is uh, being called is a premium is being sold at a premium right so that means that we want to compute the bond pricing formula in accordance to the earliest date right because the a bond being sold at a premium uh the most uh convenient date for a bond to be sold at a premium is always earliest the most convenient date for a bond to be sold at discount is the latest and for par some some time period in the middle. So now we see here that after an initial 10 year, so within the 30 year bond, after an initial 10 year period of all protection, the bond is called immediately following the payment of any of the 20th through 59th coupons. Okay, so the earliest date here is 20th, right? So we're going to set up an equation based upon this. And we're going to do 35 A 20 earliest date. Um, 2.5% yield rate plus the redemption of 1250 to the V20, right? So let's solve this, right? I'm going to take my calculator. I'm just going to do 35 as the payment, 20 as the number of years, 2.5 as the interest rate, 1250 as the future value, present value, and I end up getting, uh, one three zero eight dot forty eight as the forty six as the price of this premium, right? Being sold at this price. Now for two, it's saying 
before it's being brought and dispersed. For two, it says that the bond is being called the immediately after payment of any of the 40 through 59 coupons. The redemption value is 11.25. Okay, so let's uh, create a new coupon rate and compare it to the yield rate to see if this scenario produces a premium or discount bond. So we're going to do 35 out of 1125 redemption. We're going to get 0 0.0311, which is practically 3.11%. Uh, is it greater than the yield rate? Yes, it is, right? So it's a premium. So we're going to do 35, and we're going to call it at the earliest date. So uh, 40 is through 59 coupons now. So uh, we're setting it at 40, the earliest date, within that interval that they each just gave us. Uh, 2.5 plus... Uh, the redemption value, 1125 to the 40. Now let's use my calculator and do 35 as the payment, 40 as the number of years, 2.5 as the interest rate, 1125 as the future value, compute present value, I'm going to get 1,297. Eight, right? Now the next one is, if the bond is not called, it will be redeemed at par. Well, again, we spoke about what par is, right? If it's being redeemed at par, then that would mean that the bond is not being called at all, right? So we don't really even have to uh, deal with whether it's a premium or a discount. It's just going to be called towards the end, right? It's just a convention, conventional bond pricing formula. So I'm gonna erase this, right? So once we erase it, yeah, we're gonna just set it as regular 35. Um, there's 30 years in all, so some, this was all semi-annual thing all along, so 60 at percent plus um, 1,000 our value base is 60. Now let's solve for this. So 35 as the payment, a 60 as the number of years, uh, 2.5 as the interest rate, 1,000 as the future value, you can compute the present value. It's going to be 1,309.5 zero nine. Now again what I said earlier is whenever they say that they we want to find a bond that will provide at least an annual nominal yield of five percent we don't want to ever pay more or also go over that yield rate right so we want to so out of all three scenarios that we just computed we want to choose the lowest price which happens to be this one right and this was a premium bond from 40 of typically not coupons in which we chose the earliest call date of 40, which means that the answer calculate N would be C.